Los Angeles, there's growing concern among hundreds of patients exposed to a superbug at a hospital. There are a lot of concerns about what the bacteria is and how this could happen. KCRA3's Kathy Park is here with new information after talking to a local doctor, Kathy. Well, Rob, the exposure happened between October and January at UCLA's medical center, placing dozens at risk during endoscopic procedures. The focus now is on the medical devices used. Coined the superbug, a recent outbreak at Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center resulted in seven infections, and of those, possibly even two deaths, raising questions and concerns about how this could happen in a hospital. The bacteria has developed a way to fight the antibiotics that are designed to kill it. So that's why it's called a superbug. Dr. Thomas Hopkins specializes in internal medicine. He says this isn't a new problem, but one that should be taken seriously as we become more immune to antibiotics. Usually it has an opportunity to kill 40, 50 percent of the people that it, it, it infects. UCLA reports a source has contaminated medical instruments used for diagnosing and treating pancreatic and bile duct problems. The hospital says. As they sterilize the equipment before use. Hopkins says this type of issue is actually more common than we think. It's one of those things, unfortunate complications that happen with doing a procedure and something in the sterilization process was not the same and that's what's probably led to identifying the superbug. Treating the disease isn't easy, almost a guessing game. How do you treat this superbug? with a newer, different type of antibiotics so you can fool the bacteria and save the patient. And if infected, the most vulnerable for complications include the young, elderly, and those with suppressed immune systems. And Dr. Hopkins says it's likely we'll see more superbug outbreaks in the future because it's a problem that we have created. He adds we can help the spread by using antibiotics appropriately and for the right conditions.